Why is Craig like, oh, that's a microphone. I thought he had a goddamn pacifier in his mouth. What a fucking weirdo. Me, because I thought that. Um, yeah. 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 You have issues with Craig, don't you? I don't like him. It's just something about him. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. I don't want to put my is finger it, on it. Is it because his name is Craig? No, no. Craig's fine. I knew a couple of cool Craigs. This one, mm. not so much. Mm. And it's not It's not because he's a bear. At least I think that's what he is, right? I'm pretty sure that's a bear, yes. Okay, so yeah, it's not because of that either. I'm not like speciest or anything weird like that. I mean, would I invite him over for dinner? No, nah, no way. But Wow. Wow, that's starting to sound a little speciest. Uh, well, I mean, you know bears. I'm not trying to, you know push the stereotype here but i just feel like he'll just ruin the whole thing i'm starting to sound very much like you're pushing the stereotype why you don't know that bear why you is... don't know how craig would be i know exactly how craig would be he's a pain in the ass to deal with on a professional basis i can only imagine in a in a what do you call that uh a relaxed casual setting i don't mm. fucking trust him <laughs> something about his eyes and that pacifier i just i don't like it Oh he does God. have some cross eyes. It's kind of yeah. kind of unpleasant. You ever notice how like everybody has like weird eyes, just like at least a little yeah. bit? Yeah, it, it actually is kind of a funny thing. Is when you finally actually stop and look at people, it's like, oh, your what? eyes kind of split a little bit. Oh, my yeah. eyes split a little. It's hard to tell on yourself because in the mirror you're like looking back and forth. So like, oh no, that looks straight. No, that looks straight. No, that looks straight. So, oh no, what got me recently is I was futzing around with some Instagram filter. It was one of those mirror ones. Ewee. Yeah, well, it was like it was like it would take half your face and mirror it. But it did it for both like your oh, right side and your left side. Like a force symmetry type thing. Yeah, yeah. So it'd show you what you looked like if both your sides were symmetrical. Holy crap, one side of my face is much fatter than the other. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you probably didn't take the picture perfectly dead on. Well, it's probably no, no. Live, it was a, it right? was a video. It was a video. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I could like adjust it, and it was like no, it was a lot fatter on one side. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Interesting. How they get oh. the mirror filter on Instagram? Why do I have a how to on that? I'm I'm not I'm not kidding. Everything's a how to. I don't I don't need to know how to it's it's probably just all right whatever fuck off all right so I guess we can get to what we actually are here to do today I believe it's called a podcast or something to that effect I don't know what's a podcast I don't know it's I think it's that thing where like some white dudes get together and talk about like nothing for like an hour or less or more so we've already checked both of those boxes yeah that's true or is that three boxes white dude white and dude and then talk about talk nothing. about nothing on, yeah and, and then we check the box of um an hour or more or less because that's, that's a pretty hard one not to check uh, we just like talking to about ourselves i'm just trying to figure out why upper gx has me in uh celsius for my temperature but that's okay Be because because it's 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 one of those groups it's like you know that celsius is you know better it's just it's superior you know zero to 100 makes more sense doesn't it yeah when you use only like 30 of them before it's too hot to survive so yeah it makes a lot of sense guys good work no, no it's for like baking and stuff and and you don't understand no i really don't it's scientific but also more people um use it than the fahrenheit setup so i guess kind of like they might be right. I don't know. I'm not here to defend Yankee America and their weird, dumb shit. I'm just here to, to make some money. Speaking of, I think I found the reason we aren't making any money off this podcast. And it has nothing to do with having, like, one... Five viewers well, ever. That's that's very generous. <laughs> I was going to say uh, <laughs> one to zero views per episode, but yeah. <laughs> I was counting every vi uh, every view ever. Oh, me double checking. Oh, right, right, right. It's mostly me just <laughs> making sure everything uploaded right. But yeah, you know, it still counts. It's a view. I'm a yeah. viewer. So I think I think the the real root of our problem is we need to get sponsorship. That seems to be where all the big podcasts make their money. I mean, it's not like they're talking about anything that we're not talking about or 
being more interesting than us. It's definitely not that. I can guarantee. I've listened to like at least six podcasts, and they're all just kind of not really. I, I don't know. They just ramble. I've never done that in my life, though, so I don't. I don't understand the impulse or why they would think that would be the way to go. So let's look at a sponsor. Um, I don't, so when you think sponsorship, you what was the first thing that comes to mind? Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's very <laughs> fair. I already hit them up. They said, uh, no, nah, dude. Um, and by that, mm-hmm. I mean they didn't reply at all, and it's been like three years. So I'm assuming that's a hard no. Um, I'm thinking they, maybe... They seem desperate, though, so... We... Uh, they did seem desperate for a while, but I think I think they got their player count they wanted because I ain't seen shit in a minute. Mm. Um, I don't know. They were advertising it's their third anniversary. Jesus Christ. <laughs> See, that would have been perfect. It was when they were brand new. They should have just gone with the... Fuck it, they fucked up. All right, that's on them. That's not on me or you. We'll, we'll blame them. Um, so so what you're trying to say ultimately is that the, the viewers follow the sponsorship, not the other way around. Yeah. No. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. All right. I think so. I just know okay. sponsorship equals money, and that's what I'm here for. So that's what I want to make happen. Uh, all right. All right, so when the, when you think of sponsorship, what would be the last thing you think of the last uh, company? Hmm. Like, who, hmm. who do you think would never sponsor anyone? Who would I think never would sponsor anyone? Yeah. That's yeah. a hell of a thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the obvious Google, obviously. Because if you haven't mm. heard of Google by this point, I mean, what are you even doing? Are you on the internet? No, like, are you? Uh, yeah, I mean. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're talking to me, so you must be. Okay, good to know, good to know. So I'm thinking of something that I've just never seen advertisement for before. Okay. What are you thinking? Are that's, you thinking? Why, uh, that's why, well, that's why I'm trying to think. You know? Oh, oh you're, still, you're still working on it. Okay. <laughs> this, is a, this is a process. My so man. you're, so you're doing a, the task um, at hand. I'm proud of you. Very, very big, bold yeah, yeah, move. Yeah, see, see, you didn't get tell me ahead of time, so I didn't have anything prepped. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> we don't, we don't plan anything here. That's that's for suckers. Actually, I don't have anything planned. Well, I do, but I don't. I don't have like see a where I'm text document. I'm actually, yeah. See, I'm thinking the exact opposite. I would think that in, instead of something that's so incredibly popular it doesn't need to advertise or you know sponsor i want something so insanely niche mm. and exclusive like we're talking like some crazy weird watch brand or something mm. or no they they got those that's movement is out there doing that so no that's what i'm saying like a much smaller and even more niche oh i was thinking karaoke to be honest with you there's got to be like karaoke bars that like I don't know. Just they need some some more business booming in, up in there. I, I heard a lot of places were shutting down their doors, you know, with the recent tragedy. Which one? I don't know, but that's OK. Yeah, they're all recent tragedies. <laughs> There's always a recent <sighs> tragedy. That's that's kind of fair. It's not like there isn't constantly a tragedy. You know what? This isn't a political uh, place. We don't we don't talk the politics here. Um I don't know how that's political, but we don't talk it here. Politics do inform and inform on your daily life, so it is sometimes something to be aware of. It's true. Just not from us two idiots. Yeah, we're definitely not the ones to listen to on that. So I'm thinking, okay, hold on. Let's let's add a qualifier here. So I like the where I'm going with the karaoke bar thing, right? But okay. I'm thinking of a karaoke bar that already was doing shit. Like they do really like a really bad job and they know they do a bad job, but they still get the money because, you know, you know, like drink deals and stuff. That's how any like bar really pulls people in. Um, so what you're looking for is a bar that just has a karaoke machine setting off to the side that some drunk people every once in a while use. Yeah, yeah, like a hundred, hundred fifty dollar karaoke machine. You go pick up down at like your local guitar center and get taken advantage of. You know, 
Something like that. I'm thinking more like a ten dollar one. Uh, they got a Goodwill that was one hundred and fifty dollars at Guitar Center fifteen years ago. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, I like where your mind's at. I like where your mind's at. Then they must be really desperate. Better. <laughs> I'm a little worried though. If they only spend ten dollars on a karaoke machine, how much money they'll spend on us? But we're better than a karaoke machine. So if we at least get twenty dollars, fuck, I'll call it good. Twenty dollars would definitely get me a couple of meals. Oh, fuck yeah. I mean, you. It depends on where you go, for sure. You go to like Taco Bell, you can get you can get like at least four. Yeah, no, they have those really good uh, those really good boxes. They had the uh, what's that uh, I had just recently? Oh, did you have the cheesy chalupa, the baked cheesy something something like that? I don't know. I saw it last time I went there and was mad that that wasn't on their online menu and that I had ordered oh, wow. ahead of time. Oh well, that's right. You don't order ahead of time. Yeah. No, but... I had they. Yeah, they had the white hot ranch and French fry burrito. What the fuck, white hot ranch? That just sounds gross. Yeah, it was like it was like a spicy ranch with French fries and just in a just in a generic steak burrito. Why does this I, remind me of Applebee's for some reason? <laughs> well, because Applebee's loves just adding whatever adjectives they could come up with to a food. Wait a second, Applebee's. Uh-oh. They have shitty karaoke machines. Oh, yeah. And they have watered down shitty drinks. Mm. They're probably not doing so hot. Let's take a look. Applebee's stock. What are they looking like right now? Ooh, they went down 2% today. I mean, that's just, that's just, that's just everybody right now. (laughs) That's fair. Oh, they're showing a very downward trend, though. Oof, they are looking rough. They had a little bump, but. Yes, we're a stonks show now. All right, I think Applebee's might be all right. They're starting to recover, so they'll start, like, having money, and they're going to want people, you know, to come in to help keep pushing that, right? So this seems like yeah. a good way to go. So you're saying we're Applebee's quality. That's, uh, I, I don't know if that's whoa, the Whoa, thing. whoa, whoa, Okay, no, 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 that's not what, don't put words in my mouth there. I wasn't saying we're Applebee's quality. I'm just saying they might be desperate enough to, I mean, smart enough oh. to send us money. So mm. let's see. Let me see if I can get in contact with them. Well, they have a phone number. Ooh. You're going to call Applebee's, oh boy. I might. That Nah, you know what? I'm a millennial. We don't call people. We like to use uh, text. And I don't think I can text an 888 number. So let's see if they have an email, maybe. Plus, that'll give me time to think out, you know, how we want to do this. Yep. Yeah. Hello, sir and or madam. Yes. And uh, or mix <laughs> Zim. I don't. I can't keep track. Um. No, I don't want Applebee's to know my location. What the fuck? <laughs> Applebee's is, knows exactly where you are. Those bastards. Oh, we could write them a snail mail letter too. All right, we'll try the email Wait, thing what? first. Uh, yeah, they get. They give me an Applebee's guest relations um address. I don't think guest, guest, guest relations is not what we're looking for. We're Jesus. looking for corporate corporate sponsorship. Mm, that's a good point. But I feel like they would answer guest relations a lot quicker. Well, yes, but they would answer it going, this is the wrong department. Oh, man, they're asking a lot of information here. Wow. Where's the... Okay, so they have a comments box, and then they want, like, your entire life story here. Oh, okay. I don't have to actually put in my address. Good. I wasn't going to. Why the fuck do they need to know my address? Fuck you. I think we need to get a PO box. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. You, you know what? You do that, and you tell me. All right. All right. Yeah, you're right. Though we should we should look into maybe if we go through like oh franchising. Oh, maybe the franchising email. Let's see. That, that's that's how you sign up for new Applebee's. Yeah. I yeah, but I mean. That's like, Are we going to turn this into an Applebee's now? Is our podcast now just an Applebee's? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's a step above, so maybe they could see our model and you know improve theirs based on it. This could be really good yes, for them. But I, I want to say we certainly do not get the volume that the other Applebee's concept does. <laughs> it's very true. Mm. Oh, non-traditional licensing request for consideration. That sounds that sounds pretty good, right? Oh, they need I... less information here. Oh, but there's no, like, box to, like, put a specific... Wait, but it's, like, non-traditional requests for consideration. You would imagine, like, they would want a lot of information. 
Hi, give me money. Oh, here we go. Here's somebody's uh, a person's email address. We can talk to somebody directly. You're gonna email, emailing <laughs> Applebee's directly. Yeah. Hi, give me money. Dave dot Gleason at Dinebrands dot com. I think I think this is our guy. It's it's non traditional request for consideration. I think I think that fits what we're doing, right? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Why not? I, I don't know. <laughs> That's fair. Oh. Um. I don't. I don't. I gotta get a new. I need an email address for this, huh? Let's just copy his email address for now. Let's go ahead and sign up for a new email address. Why don't you just do the temporary email address? Well, because then. I, I no. want to get the email when he, you know, obviously says, yes, I want to support you guys. I don't even mm. know what account. What? What? What is Just this? go sign up for, like, Proton Mail or something. Then. Proton Mail? What's that? Well, it's a separate oh, email. Oh, I did have right. one. I just realized I already made one. It's, oh, good. It's literally called something something throwaway account. That's awesome. Perfect. All right. That's going to be incredibly professional to send to them. Oh. <laughs> You raise a very good point there. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead. You're right. Let's 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 make a new one. Okay, sign in, create. Oh, you said Proton Mail. I've never heard of that. Let's give that a run. Proton Mail. All right, Proton .me. Ooh, a .me. We're already off to a great start. That's very pro. What is this? I want free. What? Why would I pay for email? It's got me all email. fucked up. Oh, the so VPN, a free... Drive, yeah. Calendar. Okay, it's for their whole suite. I don't need that. I just want the email. Just just give me the free email. Oh, my God. How many tabs do you need to... Oh, it's so bright. All right. What's what's our username? Mm, I mean, just sketchy squares, probably. Yeah, that's that makes sense. I don't think anyone would have that. Sketchy squares at proton.me. Or protonmail.com. Which do you think sounds more professional? Probably proton.me, right? Probably. Yeah, let's go with that. And the password. Um, Bubba. Bubba7. And then a special right. character no one will guess. I don't remember if I capitalized the B. You were very bright. Um, okay. Oh, so now you've just guaranteed all our fans are going to try to hack the email. Oh, yeah. Our massive. What? Why Why is Windows trying to block Opera, the internet browser? What the fuck? Why would you block? What? <laughs> all right, Firewall. That's. Thank you. Thanks for trying. It's kind of a goofy time to do that, but. Display name. All right, cool. We got it. Uh, Maybe later. Yeah, I don't need to worry about a recovery method. Proton Mail, here we go. So this is like a Google competitor, I guess? I mean, there's a million of these free emails out there. Oh, I've literally never heard of anything other than just making a new Gmail, but... I just I just use it to sign up for porn. That's oh, all. okay, yeah. Shit. Yeah. I just use my regular email for porn, but, I mean, that sounds way smarter. Yeah. All right, new message, new message. Let's go ahead and pop his shit in. Why is this so small? Why do they always start with the smallest box? I don't want that. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. Let's leave that. We'll leave the sent with Proton Mail secure email. We'll leave that in, but we'll change Proton Mail to something that sounds fancier, more professional. Well, what are you thinking? Um, let's let's just do Sketch Mail. That sounds pretty good. Sketch mail. That's incredibly professional. Sketch mail. Yeah. You don't think so? Yeah, no, no, incredibly. Okay. Professional. Alright. I don't think of anything sure as being sketchy. Sarcastic there. All right. I, I don't even I don't even know what the word sarcasm means. Okay, well <laughs> the sarcasm is never ending, thank you. What alright, <laughs> subject line. Um it's gotta be to the point. Um I feel like, you know, it's got to be something that entices them to open and fully hear us out, you know? So, let's see. Um, <laughs> big opportunity. <laughs> for great uh, synergy. 
for great synergy. I like that synergy. And, and brackets, please read. Because if you ask nicely, they can't say no, right? That's true. That's the wrong bracket. There we go. Please read. Okay, big opportunity for great synergy. Bracket, please read bracket. I think that's a good that's a good uh, subject. All right. Um, so how's the professional email start start off? Um, per your request? No, that's a response. Um, hmm. I guess hmm. we could just go classic deer, right? To, or, or to whom it may concern. Ooh, yeah, there we go. To that's whom? That, that's old '90s teaching back in, you know, back when actually writing a letter was a thing they taught in class. To whom it may concern, comma enter enter tab. Nope, that didn't give me my spaces. Why does tab not do what tab used to do? Fuck me. Uh, because you're you're using it online. I want a thing. format. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, that's fine. He'll understand. It's email. That's just how it is. It's the internet yeah. ruining it. Okay, so to whom it may concern. Um, and then we'll follow it up with dearest Mr. Apple. We, <laughs> we have an exciting opportunity does that feel like maybe I'm contradicting myself from the subject being big opportunity and then moving to exciting opportunity? It just I mean, feels... things that are big can be quite exciting. Okay, that's true. So it does sound more like you're 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 yes anding yourself. Okay, so I think just to be clear though, in brackets after opportunity, I'm going to put things, um, exciting things are also can also be big how's that sound i do parentheses for that oh parentheses you're right i'm just like a bracket tour you know me yeah you have to you have to do you have to do parentheses for for off off topic thought ah see it's this is really why, important this is why yeah. i have you around it keeps me professional yes yes all right exciting things can be big too okay and parentheses. <laughs> We here, uh, we want to give, I guess probably this is a good time to introduce ourselves, the sketchy scare square blah, 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 blah. All right, hopefully I type better than I talk, apparently. That's that's not a high bar to raise. Uh, yeah, well, thanks. We here at the illustrious... Ooh, ooh, I like that. That's right? that's some that's some five dollar wordplay there. Yes, I did pay five dollars to learn that one, and I forgot immediately what it meant. But it sounds great in an email. <laughs> so, we here at the illustrious Sketchy Squares podcast. Okay, I think I may have fucked up. Let me start this again. Dearest Mister Appleby, we have an exciting opportunity. Uh, open parenthesis, exciting things can be big too. Close parenthesis, comma, we here, comma, at the illustrious Sketchy Squares podcast. I feel I feel like I said we here, we have. Ah, it's fine. I'll just roll with it. Let's just square podcast. Um, I think you say we here, blah, 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 I, at the Sketchy Square podcast, comma, have. Not we have. Just mm. have have. Okay, so I should move the the exciting opportunity till after. No, 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 that's fine. Okay, okay. So comma. So let's get rid of we here. We have at the illustrious sketchy square podcast, or at the illustrious sketchy square podcast, we have. Ooh. You know what? I'm just gonna roll with the first one. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with the first one. Either way. We're looking for authenticity. That's true. Know? And I, I don't want to overthink it, you know, because if he can see that we're overthinking it, he probably is like, nah, they're trying too hard. They're up to something. Yeah, yeah we don't want try hard. No, no, we're not. Because Applebee's, Applebee's certainly does not. Oh, that's you true. No try hardism. That's a good point. They don't try hard. So maybe if we don't try hard, then they'll vibe with us more. That's all right. Yeah, cool. That's true. We're tra It's brand synergy here. Hey, we're both a bunch of lazy fucks. It this, works. This is genius. Okay. So we have at the illustrious squares, po sketchy squares podcast, an idea that will certainly breed great 
I feel like it keeps Mutu- a better word. Mutual. You- Mutual benefit. Oh, mutual benefit. I was gonna use synergy again, but I like I like switching it up. Mutual. Yeah, benefit. yeah. You gotta. That's that's a key thing. Is you can't use the same fancy word multiple times. It's true. It's very true. An idea you that will get... certainly breed mutual benefit for both of us. I like, think when you say well, yeah, that's only doubling up a little bit. I so. just you know I just want to be extra clear on that that it's okay. for both of us. That that's yeah. a point that I have to make clear. Okay. Mm-hmm. Next slide. All right. So, what do you where do you think we should go from there? Probably explain the idea. Um, I would go and I would copy paste the Merriam Webster definition of podcast. Oh, that's genius. That's genius. Okay. <laughs> Just in case he doesn't know what a podcast is, you know, a lot yeah, of, and, a lot of boomers still run these things, so. Yeah, absolutely. So you need to absolutely have the per, the, the perfect and Merriam Webster is perfect about this. The exact definition oh, of we're podcast. Doing Miriam? All right, let's do Miriam. I was just using Google's, but I think you're right. Okay, I spelled Miriam entirely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> here we go Where stupid stupid steven <laughs> was that a courage a cowardly dog reference yeah. beautiful yeah because it's muriel okay so i copy and pasted it directly it kept the formatting and everything and i think that's mm-hmm. that's good it's easy to read and he'll be like whoa this is exciting there's different different fonts different <laughs> sizes i think it'll really catch i mean eye. that's gonna stand out that's gonna stand out fantastic oh absolutely perfect okay so definition of podcast um the little dots uh program open parenthesis as of music or talk close parenthesis made available in digital format for automatic download over the internet I feel like that doesn't really fully explain, but it's the Merriam-Webster definition, so we're just going to have to I roll mean, with and it. And they're, they're the authorities here. We don't get to choose you know, what, what the authorities think. Right, exactly. So we'll just we'll roll with them. They know what they're talking about. I'll try, as professionals and as non-sweat, non-tryhards, we'll just we'll run with that. That sounds good. Yeah, great. yeah. It's important. Okay, so from there, we... We at the, hmm, let me see, how do we want to start this next sentence? Um, maybe we should throw a definition of sponsorship. You think that might? Mm, or, I see that's the soon? problem. That more, more, yeah, that might, that might be too soon. Maybe we add that at the end or something as like a footnote. Oh, okay. Well, we'll add that after the sent with sketch mail, secure email, P.S. <laughs> if I can type here, P.S. And then go ahead and put that definition sponsor. That way I don't have to think about it later. And it's just there. Okay. B, one that promotes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Miriam. You're a good lady. P.S. Sponsorship. Uh, I don't know why I didn't say definition like last time. We'll just do that and we'll put a B next to it. Then they'll see, oh, okay, so that must be like a note at the end when we get to that word. Okay, so we would be overjoyed to be considered, and what was their, what was their phrasing? Non for, considered for a non-traditional request for consider okay that's not going to work how i thought that was going to work a non-traditional uh involvement uh let's see let's find let's find a good uh i almost said thesaurus for that but that's not the right word Um, so so a non considered for a non-traditional consideration a non-traditional i think i think that sounds fine considered yeah. for a non-traditional consideration it's it's enough words apart that i think yeah. that's yeah yeah four is at least minimum there yeah. yeah that's good i like that okay we would be overjoyed to be considered for a non-traditional consideration um that feels a bit overjoyed does feel like a little try hardy mm-hmm. but i've already typed it and it would be we more try hardy be... to change it so we'll leave it yeah or, or you could put next to it in parentheses, content. Okay. Overjoyed, content. Okay, let's do that. Content. You know, it's 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 a little it, it's got a little passive aggressive like you know, 
we're getting a little sedentary, like, yeah, we, yeah, we're totally overjoyed. Yeah, we would be overjoyed, content. sure. Yeah, I like that. Okay, in parentheses, we got content. All right, all right. For a non-traditional consideration, um, in order for us both, parentheses, just to make sure they know Applebee's and the sketchy squares podcast just so they know what i mean when i say we uh, us both yes 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 in order for us both to um succeed i don't know how to i think i spelled that right the second time uh to succeed okay i think that's a good sentence. that's a good enough sentence Let's see what we got so far. So the subject is big opportunity for great synergy. Open bracket, please read, close, oh, close bracket. Yeah, okay. I thought I skipped something there, but I didn't. I'm doing great here. To whom it may concern, comma, uh, enter, enter. Dearest Mr. Appleby, we have an exciting opportunity, open parenthesis, exciting things can be big too, close parenthesis, comma, we have, comma, at the illustrious Sketchy Squares podcast, comma, an idea that will certainly breed mutual benefit, comma, for both of us. That sounds great so far. Okay. Yeah, and fantastic. Followed up by definition of podcast, two dot guys, <laughs> uh, next line, a program uh, open parenthesis as of music or talk close parenthesis made available in digital format for automatic download over the internet that's great the, they'll have no no confusion on what the podcast is yeah it, it really needs to be very direct that they very, know very direct and clear again it could be a boomer on the this data yeah, it could online. easily be other yes okay so we would be overjoyed parentheses content close parentheses because obviously we don't want to get you know yeah we wanted to reel it back a little bit but you know a little mystery a little bit of a intrigue you know to keep Mm -hmm. them coming to be considered for a non-traditional consideration in order for us both uh parenthesis applebee's and the sketchy squares podcast close parenthesis to succeed okay that sounds great sounds yeah that's fantastic okay okay um we need to relate ourselves to applebee's somehow okay um that's 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 a really good point we do need to make more relatable because i feel so, like right now we're really talking down to them almost or trying to keep it i think overjoyed maybe gives them a little less of that feel but yeah let's let's make this really relatable so i was thinking we should tell them that i went on a date there once okay so um one of the hosts of the sketchy I just, you know, you got to say the name a lot so that it's just like it sticks in their head. Yeah, they got to remember. And that's the beautiful part about having that mild alliteration there, you know. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. One of the hosts just be... of the Sketchy Squares podcast went on a hot date um, at an Applebee's. I feel like we just kind of jumped in there. Maybe, maybe I should head this up a little bit saying a little background on us let's do that just a little sentence above this is yeah little... yeah that's a good idea background. and transition a very good you know yeah transition. segue if you will yeah. exactly a little background on us one of the hosts of the sketchy squares podcast went on a hot date at an applebee's one time okay so yeah, how, how yeah. did this date go what tell me about I, it, this date it, it was okay my pants were too tight. It was okay, and his pants were too tight. Yeah. In parentheses, get it, because she was hot. See, a little joke in there, a little humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of adult humor, just so so they understand. You know, yeah. we're, we're adults here. This is not, not children making this request. We're right. adults. And- and we're not being, nope. you know, uh, overbearing on it. What's what's the word where you step over the line? We're not being crude, uh, you know. Yeah, we're not vulgar. Vulgar. Crude. That was the word yeah, I was yeah. looking for. Yeah. We're not yeah. crude. We're not vulgar. Oh yeah, these are two words that definitely do not apply to us okay. at all. Actually, I think. Hope you like that joke. 
<laughs> As you can see, we are neither crude nor vulgar. Which, but we like to have fun. Oh, yeah, there we go. But we like to have fun, which to me is the uh, epitome of Applebee's, or I don't think epitome is quite the right word for that. Um, It's the same hmm. essence. Yeah, like an, the aura of Applebee's. Ooh, I like that. Is the aura of Applebee's beautiful or of applebee's okay hope you like that joke as you can see we are neither crude nor vulgar vulgar but we like to have fun which to me how about to us because i'm speaking on behalf of both of us yeah it's true we're we're, we're not a single individual we're we are multiple this is it's true which to us is the aura of applebee's okay perfect perfect so we got the date that I think that makes us very relatable, especially having mm -hmm. the joke and then, you know, stating that we are neither crude nor vulgar. I do believe they're going to like that. Yeah, yeah, it's important. We got to gotta show our qualities. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead. Definition of Applebee's. Neither crude nor vulgar. But we like to have fun. Okay. Yeah, that's good. You know, gotta make sure we understand that this is this is what we think of Applebee's, and this is what we think of ourselves, and we see just a very, a very, you know, great relationship coming from this. Yeah, I think I think synergy really is uh, being displayed well here. That we would we're gonna we're gonna have great synergy with these guys because we we follow their mottos to the T as well. Um, though I do have to admit your drinks could be a little bit stronger. We got to throw some honesty and a little negging in there, you know? Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's a negging is a perfect just, word for just it. Just a little bit of negging, not too much. I think that's nice. Yeah, you know, it also makes them think, hey, maybe these guys are like, serious food critics on the side too that's true Ooh, what they have a podcast yeah. i mean anything's possible with that as yeah. we saw it is a program as of music or talk made available in digital format for automatic download over the internet and, if and that's a anything, ton of yeah the internet's the, the future the yeah, internet is the future you know but that's that's the point it could be mysterious could be anything could be anybody it's, true. it's very sketchy that's true this could be just us hiding. Uh, we're actually Joe Rogan. It's true. We could be Joe Rogan. Okay. But man. you would t you would tell me if you were Joe Rogan, right? Um, nah. You know what? We'll see what Applebee's thinks. Whoa. Yeah, we'll see when they get back to us for sure. I think we should work that in there somewhere too. Let's see. We could even be Joe mm. Rogan. Where can I put that? Hmm. Mm. Probably should have shared my screen with you, but that's okay. No, no, no. I'm, um, you know, a tech support. I'm used to, used to imagining in my head all the stupid shit that my customers are doing. So this that's, is this isn't bad. That's fair. That's very fair. Okay. All right. So so we left off though. I do have to admit your drinks could be a little bit stronger. Okay. So we got the neg in there. Um, what's the second step to negging? Do you, do you have to say like a nice thing? Is it like a sandwich situation or you just leave it at that and let them figure it out? Well, you gotta, you gotta let them imagine, you gotta let them sit and stew on it for a minute before you come back with something. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and just give a couple spaces, hit enter a couple times there, give them some mm -hmm. space to think about that. Okay. Perfect. All right, so we, that's a perfect point to pick up with our next point. Um, I don't believe we've actually explained what we um, what this opportunity is. Um, I think maybe I think maybe now now's the time. You think? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah, that would be a good idea. Okay. So, any who is that mm -hmm. professional? Very pro Okay. Yeah, that's very professional. It's it's a good transition word. Oh, perfect, perfect. So, mm. anywho, 
are big, exciting opportunity. There you go, callback. Yeah, that's right. Just in case they forgot what this was about, they were just so, you know, like, excited by us after that little bit of negging. They're like, oh, I'm interested in them, like, in a sexual way. It's like, oh, wait, no, this is a business email. We got to calm down. So we bring it back. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. But that's the thing. You always want to see, you always want to have a little bit of seductiveness to it. Yeah. A little playful. Exactly. You want them to keep thinking they have a shot. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Applebee's is like, oh, oh, they don't think we're good enough, but that, but they're still talking to us. Oh my! But maybe, but maybe, what if, what if? Maybe our big exciting opportunity, which we mentioned earlier, is a. Ooh, I guess we can just get right into it as a sponsorship deal. You think? Just, just put it out mm. there it's not too early sponsorship yeah, yeah. i definitely spelled that right sponsorship deal in which you give us money mm -hmm. perfect perfect yeah. you have to be very direct and tell them yeah. hey what we want is more than anything else from you is just money yeah i don't that's all i want I don't, yeah, I don't want them sending me, like, free meal coupons or something stupid. Yeah, because like I don't want to eat at Applebee's. Oh, no, fuck no. Disgusting. Fuck no. No, it's that's awful. That's gross. It's fucking gross as hell. Oh, so, it's terrible. So money. So give us money. And mm -hmm. in exchange, we give you new patrons. Namely visit the uh, viewers of our podcast namely the vast army of viewers we have amassed through our podcast i think viewers isn't quite the right word um vast army of diehards no yeah yeah i mean maybe mm. I can't think of anything better, so we'll put that in there and we'll come back to it. If we can yeah, we'll better. we'll circle back to it. Yeah, we'll circle back. There we go. Die. Yeah, circle back. Sorry, I'm getting my corporate mindset in here. It's 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 getting very zen because you got to kind of balance the corporate and the fun because again, they, this is what they're they're about. Neither crude nor vulgar, but we like to have fun. That's the definition of Applebee's. So That's very much so. Okay, so we have a mass to our podcast. All right, let's 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 read through this again, and I think we can get a couple more good sentences in, and I think that'll probably sell them on it, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, I I would have to take this opportunity. I think out. this might be the this be this be an opportunity that they would absolutely not hesitate to you know, oh, yeah. you know jump at. They would certainly regret to not jump. I mean, at the very least, discuss terms. I mean. I, think I mean, so. I'm more than willing to, you know, to negotiate. I am a hardliner, and I will, I will not back down from wanting money. But you know, right? But we can talk about how much money we can be reasonable. I know Applebee's is struggling. That's why we're here trying to help them out. Yep, yep, yep. yep. But it does cost. We're not doing this for free. no, 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 no. It's it's kind of like we're consultants coming in yeah. and telling Applebee's, you know, how to fix everything they they've done. It's kind of like we are consultants. We are coming in to fix Applebee's and everything they have done. I like that. I like that sentence. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, no, it, it's great because it comes in, gives us an air of authority saying, hey, you know, this, but it also continues the negging tradition. Right, right, exactly. But still presenting it as a positive experience for them. Yes, and that we are going to help them, and that should be an opportunity they cannot miss. Right, exactly. We, we're, I'm going to put this in bold. We are here to help, and then we'll lower, go back to lowercase. This is mm -hmm. an opportunities uppercase you cannot miss. Mm-hmm. I think that's nice. I like that. That's yeah, nice. yeah, no, I, 
yeah, at this point, it's being very, very direct, very forceful. You know, this is what we what we can do for you. Right. The company. And it's not coming off threatening at all. So. No, 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 absolutely. That was a little, uh, to be honest, I did have that concern a little bit going into the caps, but I think I think it does come across very nice. I mean, it, even if it's in caps, it does say we are here to help, and that can't be yeah. threatening yeah. at all. And we all know caps lock is just cruise control for cool. Ah, I like that. I like that a lot. We're going to put that right there in parentheses. We all know mm -hmm. caps lock is cruise control for cool yeah give him a little winky a little winky face see so there you go another joke put in there you that's know, right so we're, we're having fun that's yeah exactly. we're having fun we're yeah. having fun and it's not vulgar it's not crude it's not vulgar it's not crude i think we're really fitting that applebee's aura i think this is yeah. nice this, this is, is fantastic nice. i i mean i'm i'm about to rename the cat applebee's oh my goodness what an <laughs> honor <laughs> just don't let it make any food it'd be fucking horrible no god like, no fuck no god yeah. god disgusting. burn down my microwave it just explodes I, god, I, shit. honestly i thought i had covid after i ate there because it just ruined my fucking uh, oh jesus christ so yeah like, just, oh it's, uh, oh no thanks Ugh. okay so there. let's take a look at what we got i think this is it's short to the point but there's enough padding in it that it feels like okay these guys they're not trying too hard, but they are making an attempt. So I think mm -hmm. this is this is looking really nice so far. Oh, 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 a little burps. Um, okay, big opportunity for great synergy. Please read. To whom it may concern, dearest Mr. Appleby, we have an exciting opportunity. Exciting things can be big too. We have at the illustrious Sketchy Squares podcast an idea that will certainly breed mutual benefit for both of us definition of podcast a program as of music or talk made available in digital format for automatic download over the internet we would be overjoyed content to be considered for a non-traditional consideration in order for us both apple beast and the sketchy squares podcast to succeed a little background on us one of the hosts of the sketchy squares podcast went on a hot date at an apple beast one time it was okay and his pants were too tight get it because she was hot <laughs> hope you like that joke as you can see we are neither crude nor vulgar but we like to have fun which to us is the aura of applebee's definition of applebee's neither crude nor vulgar but we like to have fun though i do have to admit your drinks could be a little bit stronger about three or four lines down so anywho our big exciting opportunity, which we mentioned earlier, is a sponsorship deal in which you give us money and in exchange we give you new patrons, namely the vast army of diehards we have amassed through our podcast. It's kind of like we are consultants, we are coming in to fix Applebee's and everything they have done. Okay, when we hit bold and capital, we are here to help, no longer capital, this is an capital opportunity, no longer capital, you cannot miss in parentheses we all know caps lock is cr cruise control for a cool winky face i think that's pretty good okay i and mean if just... i got this email i'd 100 percent like i'd instantly reply like yeah what's up dude how can we get this going yeah so and i would say end it with saying thank you again for the non-traditional consideration thank you and then for the and then just s plus e Traditional consideration. And then on a like, comma, and then on like a new line, we do a little dash. Yeah, and then just say S, S plus E. Plus, where's the plus? Why is plus not lit up? Okay, plus E. <laughs> <laughs> like $150 fucking keyboard, and they can't even get the fucking plus button to light up. Thanks, guys. S plus E. <laughs> it's because you have to press shift, so just have it memorized, dummy. Anyway, S plus E, parentheses, sketchy, squares, podcast, LLC. Oh, uh -huh. uh, yeah, that makes us sound fancy, even right. though it's technically illegal because we're not an LLC. Well, this can get us yet. in legal trouble. I think we're going to go, ah, I'll leave it. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. We'll, we'll get it done by the time they read this anyway. It'll be Yeah, fine. yeah. Yeah, we're 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 gonna totally sign up this week. Okay, let's see. 
Oh, I forgot to put the B by sponsorship. Oh, yeah, yeah, because we're making a footnote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got the footnote in there. Sponsorship. Good. Good. Parentheses B. Okay, so the B takes you down to the PS line. So we got S plus E Sketchy Squares Podcast LLC sent with sketch mail secure email PS mm -hmm. B one that promotes, advocates, or favors a business venture as investment in a security or limited partnership. Other <laughs> words from sponsor, sponsor verb, sponsorship noun, more from Miriam Webster on sponsor. Didn't yeah, mean to copy yeah. that, but I think that's important to leave. I, so I think it's great that. because then they know that, hey, you know, we take this seriously. We are good at using our resources at hand. Exactly. We're using legit resources like Miriam Webster. We're not using that, you know, what's that urban dictionary nonsense? No, we're professionals yeah, here. Yeah, see, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, anything else you think we need to add? Any other tidbits? I <sighs> think this is good to go. Yeah, no, I think over email, I think this will be perfect. All right, this is a great, this is a great email. I think, I think this is perfect. We're gonna go ahead, double check everything looks good. Some of the formatting looks good. Okay, yep, I'm gonna hit send. All right, we did it. Yeah, there we go. Right, we're well on our way to our first sponsorship. Absolutely. So next, next week, uh, you guys. When next time we do this, we're going to be decked out in just Applebee's gear from you know, right. head to toe. You're going to see Applebee's uh, on every corner of the screen for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Uh, but you know what? We'll, we'll have a lot of money, like 20, maybe even 40 bucks between the two of us. Whoa. That'd be whoa, awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know, right? They could equate our jobs at that point. My God. Like, I don't know what I could do with all that money. Oh, so much, so much. Well, I mean, hopefully this is just the beginning, too. You know, we can always hit up other places about a sponsorship. You know, we don't need to be limited sure. to just Applebee's. There are other parts of the screen and our bodies we can cover. So. Mm -hmm. and that's true. We did not say that we were going to be exclusive with Applebee's. You know, this is very much an open relationship. It's a very good point, and I feel like we probably should have been clear about that. So. You know what? That's That's their fault. You know, you know what? Yeah, I think I think omitting it is good. Just just in case, you know, leaves that door open. A little bit of mystery. Are we exclusive? I don't know. I think that's there you go. okay. I think we can run with that then. All right. So cool. So I think our podcast is now uh, on the way of being successful. Um, we're gonna be. It's about time, you know. Really. Yeah, I know. It, it, we've been doing this for you know f what, like eight years now. So it's Jesus about time Christ. we turned around. I don't actually know if it's eight years, but that's. I right. think it's every bit of six, to be honest. <laughs> and we have as many episodes, so it's it's good. It's oh perfect. god. <laughs> actually, that I too. This is technically episode eleven, twelve. Technically, so we have two two per year, I, even though like half of those are missing. It's fine. Two per year. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Trust our audio engineer here. Who's that? I don't fucking know anymore. Oh, good. I just want to make sure it wasn't me. I'm going to go ahead and bookmark this email page. Yeah, there we go. That way I can get back here easy to uh, get the reply. I'm honestly, I'm surprised they haven't replied yet. Uh, well, it takes a minute to reread it. It is it is such a work of just unending majesty it's true it probably took their breath away just just the title alone was a lot to there are now uh, like i imagine some intern or something got this and now it's freaking out and having to run it to the ceo yeah he's just saying, climbing hey. the chain there like hey man i think i think i got what's gonna save us right here yeah that's true beautiful yeah, i mean these guys these people you know obviously can't make food for shit but they they should be able to see a, a good opportunity when it's presented yeah 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 i think so all right well i think i think that went very well um yes we'll definitely keep all of our lovely fans all zero of them updated i mean mm -hmm. three thousand of them yes we have three million subscribers uh applebee's for when you inevitably listen um yes totally Yes. that's that's our numbers um yeah. you know we're not we're not inflating those at all no 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 we are super successful as is we're just trying to throw you a bone applebee's but... absolutely we know we know a, a small a small company like yours needs all the help you can get exactly and you know that's that's what we're about here at the sketchy squares podcast is looking out for the small guy yeah, yeah. 
the little guy needs all the help they can get. Absolutely. Well, this has been lovely. Um, we will catch you fuckers on the next episode. Um, hopefully we have a good update. Ow. I'm sure we will. Oh, are you okay? Are you dying over there? No, the cat attacked me again. Oh, so yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Bye.